I've seen people sway all the way, thinking they have the flexibility. And there is a breaking point, and I've seen that happen. And I've seen them, they are no less artists than the great ones they were competing with. But something cracked. So when and that usually is the ego. Somebody said, why do you want to make a film like Hey Ram? We have forgotten all that. That, that was 20 years ago. Yeah. They said, we have forgotten all that. I said, no, my friend, we haven't. I, I tell my people, look at Hindi cinema, look at Amiji working with Sharu and uh, uh, other people. From the time of Shole, uh, Sanjeev Kumar Sahib worked with Dharamji uh, Dharam and Amiji. Hemaji with uh, uh, Jayaji. And uh, why don't we do it? We can't even place our chairs side by side. We go sit in our van. And I've been asking Amiji to do uh, uh, a film regionally for many years. And that has not happened? That, no, not because he was unwilling. And is it, is it true that he, uh, he didn't charge any money for that movie? No, he didn't. That is very true. Do you feel that the middle class upbringing that you have had, or maybe I have had, or maybe most of us here have had, has um, affected you in a way where um, somehow you still are that, you hold on to that side? So I was born in a, in a family which you could call uh, middle class, upper middle class, whatever. But I moved with the lower echelon. Well, his legacy spans over six decades, but there is no pangs of stardom that has hit him ever. And I can vouch for that because when I heard him at the press conference today, I felt that he spoke everything that we would always want to hear and we would speak ourselves. I, I don't know how to say, uh, say it, but I actually am loving this because uh, I'm sitting with Kamal Hassan, sir, for a conversation only on Bollywood Bubble. Uh, thank you, sir, thank for you. doing this. The, I know that you will uh, testify yourself as a film enthusiast and a film buff, and, and that is a great thing. But the reason I said that is because I feel that um, there are, there's, a, there's a point of, um, there's a part of you that is still that simple person who we can relate to. And um, I know that at the press conference you said uh, that there was this person who walked up to you and said that they have watched Chachi Char So Bees and they didn't mention uh, that they were kids. But I have to tell you that our kids are 90s, I'm a 90s kid, so we were very different, you know. And we were, our uh, TV time, our movie times were very limited. I have been a child who have been allowed to watch Mr. India, Appu Raja, Chachi Char So Bees as many number of times as it came on TV. So I have grown up watching you and I feel that everybody here has grown up watching you. All these years, six decades of stardom, how do you maintain that groundedness? I where you felt that I've been hit by stardom a little bit? No, you, if you look at the top of the tree, you'll see it swaying. But the bottom is fixed. If the bottom is not fixed, the top will be at the bottom very soon. Uh, on, on the <laughs> smallest zafir will bring it down. So I, my roots are very uh, much down deep into the earth because of my gurus who taught me yeah. and my predecessors yeah. who have shown how you could fall and how you could stay. Absolutely. I've learned it from them. And I've seen people sway all the way thinking they have the flexibility and there is a breaking point, and I've seen that happen. And I've seen them, they are no less artists than the great ones they were competing with. But something cracked. So when and you, that was usually is the ego. Absolutely. But did you never have that? Because when I look at you doing the kind of things that you do... No, I have confidence. Yeah. But that should be misconstrued as ego. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. Yeah, I know that. I always use this. I, I spoke to uh, Shankar Mahadevan one. Uh, we were composing, and um, he came up with a fantastic tune. And it was in Tamil, so he wanted me to write, which I had the honor of asking uh, Javed Akhtar Saab to write in Hindi. So the Tamil version I was writing, and my friend Ahsan came up to me. He said, you're writing so fast. Why don't you sing it as well? I said, Ahsan, you're a friend. You're saying this out of love. And you, you're a musician as well. You heard that song. You look at Arnold Schwarzenegger's bicep, and get into enthused to go into exercise, but if you don't get it in half an hour. <laughs> that is years of this. Uh, and I'm, I'm an actor who's also dabbling in music. 
So I won't fight with that kind of uh, vocal muscle. Absolutely. So I'll just watch it happen and be happy with that. And uh, so I, I know that that's how far my ego goes. I know that's confidence and the lack of it when it is required. Otherwise, you'll jump from the 13th floor and say, so far, so good, till you hit the tarmac. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say this, um, that when I have studied your life, and not just as an actor, you know, I feel that um, you are a humanitarian, and um, I love the work that you do for people. Uh, today, when you said that uh, cinema is something where you don't even realize um, that the next person sitting, um, the person sitting next to you in a theater, you don't even question who they are, where they are from. What community they Absolutely. are from, what language they speak. Absolutely. Yeah. But today, do you feel that sometimes, you know, there's so much of chatter and um, art has been used as a medium. Um, always it is supposed to entertain and in, be inclusive. But I feel that today it's being used to divide in every form. Uh, always. This division, uh, uh, revisionist, secessionist, yeah. divisionist, they will always be there. We'll have to rise above that. We have risen above it. We have seen lakhs and lakhs killing each other. There was no dictator telling them to do it. The same number that almost what a dictator like Hitler killed happened within a month or two in India. Yeah. And it, there were two communities. Yes, somebody said, why do you want to make a film like Hiram? We have forgotten all that. That that was 20 years ago. Yeah. They said, we have forgotten all that. I said, no, my friend, we haven't. Sir, at the same time, you know, for the last 60 years, the kind of films that you've dabbled with, um, Vikram is a different, uh, is in a different space from a Hiram and a Chachi Charsubis. Um, has it always been a conscious move to take up films which are different from each other? Like, I love Hindustani. I think as a 90s kid, everybody, har, um, Month wo aata tha ek bar, uh, set max ya kisi, uh, channel pe, aur hum log ke dekhte the. It's that was also a very um, in need in time kind of a film. Hiram, of course, we were allowed to watch it a little later, but when I watched it, I felt what an outstanding piece of cinema. Um, is that is that a conscious move? Behind yes, it? and I, I I know I've been an audience. I am an audience even today. When you go to buy your shirt for your festivities, be it Christmas. Yeah. Eid or uh, Deepali, whatever, you're not going to f f buy the same design every year. You want another color shirt. Absolutely. I have that color already. I want another one. So that's the mindset of an audience. They want to see something different. And that's why I change my face sometimes because I, yeah. I've been seeing it for so long. I was telling in the previous interview, I shave it and trim this beard every day. So I, I'm, I, no, you can't blame me for not being bored with that face. But uh, I also know that there are some people who like to see that face as it is. Yeah. So I, I do both of it. My repertoire should also be respected. At the same time, you must understand in that shop, they will ask for newer tastes. Absolutely. But at the same time, you know, um, does it sometimes um, when you do a film with so many actors. Today, I have so many actors from the uh, Hindi film industry um, who has actually come out and spoken about the lack of representation as in in terms of multi-starers. Today, we have three of the biggest stars uh, in a film like this. And there's one more. Uh, we'll come back, come to that. But um, is there no sense of insecurity? Is there no sense of competition? Because I love what you said today um, at the press conference. I feel, do you feel that somehow, majorly, many actors lack that sense of confidence in their head? No, it's, it's also what, uh, see, you can be a fan, your own fan. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. But what about the critic? Yeah. If you, I am my best fan, I will challenge any of my fans to that. But I'm also my worst critic. And I'll challenge any of my critics to that. They can't be as harsh as I can be. Yeah. They might sometimes be scared, of, simply out of kindness. I'm not even kind. I can do the most unkind criticism on myself because of the fact that nobody is hearing. <laughs> <laughs> what has been the most unkind criticism that you've done of yourself? For which uh, why would I tell you? 
<laughs> that's the best answer <laughs> but at the same time when you look at a film like this today uh, i don't know if you've noticed this but on our match which is a tracking uh, which is a meter tracking thing um your film is tracking at number 1 if nobody has told you this till now i am telling and this is not because you're sitting next to me i actually read up about it um how does it make you feel i won't ask you the whole north south question because you know i sometimes feel that when people actually say aaj ek zamane mein aisa hota tha ki रीजनल फिल्म्स को इज्जत नहीं मिलती थी आज ये हो रहा है कि उसी के चक्कर में जब रीजनल फिल्म्स स्टार्टेड वर्किंग सो पीपल आर कंपेयरिंग इट एंड सेइंग दैट बॉलीवुड इज ओवर सो इवेंचुअली देयर इज नो इक्वालिटी आई थिंक वी यू लाइक आर्टिस्ट्स वांट एन इक्वल प्लेइंग फील्ड हाउ डू यू सी दिस द चेंज आई आई इट्स सो स्ट्रेंज इट आइरोनिक आई आई टेल माय पीपल लुक एट हिंदी सिनेमा लुक एट अमित जी वर्किंग विद शाहरुख एंड अदर पीपल फ्रॉम द टाइम ऑफ शोले Sanjeev Kumar mm-hmm. sahab worked with Dharm Dharam ji and Amit Hema ji with uh, Jaya ji and uh, why don't we do it we can't even play our chairs side by side we go sit in our van look at them it was possible and now you're turning the tables on me i don't know what to say we we picked it up from here absolutely do you do you do you find it to be a welcome change because uh, i think izzat bahut badh gayi hai for uh, You know, Wikipedia also doesn't uh, classify actors as Tamil film actor, Hindi film actor. They say Indian film actor who primarily works in these 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 industries. So, do you feel that there's a change that's coming? Yeah, I'm 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 glad from that. See, there was a time when you used to say actor, actress. Yeah. Then both were called actors. Absolutely. So it's something like that. Everybody should get that. It's a le- the ground is leveled by people like us. Yeah. it it can, it won't be there'll always be somebody building a mound but you'll have to level it but if, if we don't they themselves will do it at the same time you know um, there were uh, reports or rumors that um, uh, big b has a cameo in this film is there any no we we thought of it uh, but then it uh, i had to go to surya because it's too small a part and i've been asking amit ji to do uh, uh, a film regionally for many years and that has not happened that no it's not because he was unwilling he, he was worried about the number of dialogues and he said i always understood my lines and spoke i don't know how you do it but this is how i do it so uh, can i speak in hindi and then you'll dub it no i want you to speak <laughs> tamil he said let me think about it and that was the only reason he, he would have uh, said no and this is too small a part yeah. i said i don't mind uh, asking him but what will i say why why this see because i know that i've just asked him to come for a function all the way from here to chennai to celebrate me and he did yeah why would he not come to do a uh, full absolutely you also said that you missed working with dilip saab today Yeah. and uh, i remember this interview of shasar that uh, where he was talking about actors he loves and he said um, that he wanted to do a movie and heram was that film for him because um, like a cinema lover he just wanted to share screen space with you who shahrukh khan oh yeah he did <laughs> yeah as yeah, he is lucky i didn't i'm not that lucky because i didn't get to act with the actor i wanted to he had a choice and he worked with amit ji he worked with everyone he wanted to and is it is it true that he uh, he didn't charge any money for that movie no he didn't that is very true i i no uh, it did cost me some just a wrist watch oh <laughs> just to <a> wrist <laughs> watch that's, <laughs> that's all it was but, uh, but then he advertises for wrist watches he can get a watch anytime <laughs> he wants but that's not why he did it and uh, i'm ever grateful for that and finally sir i want to ask you this that um, before i came to interview you um yesterday night i was having um, different nervous pangs i was like okay i've never met him and he's a superstar he's a mega star um how do i behave in front of him but today when i saw you at the press conference i felt that you are as normal as anybody else in the room and you make people feel comfortable around you i want to ask you this that do you feel that the middle class upbringing that you have had or maybe i have had or maybe most of us here have had has um, affected you in a way where um, somehow you still are that you hold on to that side so i was born in a, in a family which you could call uh, middle class upper middle class whatever but i moved with the lower echelon 
I know middle class. I'm not very close to the rich. My, my father knew all the rich people. He was uh, the counsel for uh, what we call the princely states of South India. There was Ramnad and another one. And uh, so his reach was at both ends. And he was a very strong Gandhian. Yeah. And uh, so it's easy to see both ends. And, uh, and I, I learned humility from the richest and the poorest. They both have it, but they never lack the dignity, the self-respect. They never lose it. In the prospect of showing humility, they never lose self-respect. That's one thing I learned from the poorest and the richest. And thank you, sir, for this uh, wonderful conversation. I can go endlessly, I feel, uh, with this conversation. And uh, I just feel that um, you wouldn't even realize that you've touched a, a billion other lives in very in remote ways that you wouldn't even know of. Um, but the fact is that you care for the same amount of people. And that care shows in the amount of um, love you put in to entertain them and to reach out to everybody who needs you. And uh, that is uh, going to be... Uh, the definition of Kamal Hassan, the superstar for me. He will always be a bona fide, uh, humane uh, superstar for me. And thank you so much for being so warm and gracious. Thank you.